Ooh, uh, uh, bing, bing, <laughs> walla, walla, bing, bing. Um, Three, two, one, go. Here we go. Is this, yeah, loser semis coming out. Yep, so. Loser semis, the winner of this, moves on to fight Justin JPEG in loser's finals. Yeah. And they're getting bananas out. They're nairing. They're monkey flipping. They're grabbing. Everything that a Diddy Kong would do. Yeah, we're gonna, be, we're gonna be seeing a whole grocery store's worth of produce here. We've got bananas flying. We've got peanuts flying. Yeah, for real. But and Burnape uh, coming out behind on all of those exchanges we just saw. Down about 20% now, but a little neutral reset if there even ever is one with two Diddy Kongs on the screen. The way they throw moves out. I just want to say it really kills me that. Infernape is playing the blue Diddy Kong, but has the red player one palette, this and is true. vice versa for EJJ. That's a good observation I, that I hated you made. I think that they <laughs> should stop that, actually. Yeah, let's pause the set, go get him to flip that around, then run it back. But here we go, EJJ doing a good job finding the stock pretty early on Infernape there. And both bananas in play, who knows? Oh my god, keep it cycling. looks like Brawl! Yeah, for real, just keep cycling bananas across the stage. Oh, Ooh, still finding the trip out of the Z-Drop Banana. Infernape looking to take this kill off of EJJ's first stock. Doesn't want to let the extra credit get too far out of hand. But EJJ just so difficult to track down as he monkey flips to the other side of the stage. Yeah, and here we go. Uh, Infernape just can't find the stock at EJJ. He's at 115, so he might have a little more work to do to even take it. And uh, in the meantime, EJJ doing a great job racking up the extra credit, getting Infernape to 112. So one more exchange from him, too, to take that stock. And then you're up two. Something I kind of wish that this game had, especially when you have, like, multiple characters Ooh. with the same item. Ooh not find him a kill yet when you have multiple characters of the same item i wish that they were also like color coordinated so they look like dk64's bananas that would because be really it nice. is difficult it is difficult to tell sometimes like when someone's like banana peel is offline because the other player is holding it yeah for real that no that's true i agree <laughs> <laughs> But both, both Diddy Kong players thinking the same. Time to send shield for the up smash from EJJ. Not even off anything, just finds uh, finds Infernape messing around in neutral. I do want to point out one thing about the bananas is that there is a colored arrow that points at it. It's there not enough. Is, but it is, I know, it I is know. coordinated to the last player that grabbed it, not oh, who spawned that's it. that's true too. Oh, it's ownership. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, same that thing. That also makes sense. Yeah, same thing happens with like uh, Rob's gyro. It lets you know like whose hitbox it is. You know what? I'm just gonna shut up. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, long range oh banana God. to the down air. Hits like a truck, but monkey flipping through it. EJJ doing a good job again, pushing his extra credit up a stock and then some on uh, Infernape right now. Yeah, EJJ looking real good here in this game one. I've I think you may be, you may, you may have seen the future Big Easy. I don't know if we might be seeing uh, Greninja in game two. Look, I'd love to see it. I'd absolutely love to see it. Oh, side B monkey flip coming out, sending Infernape to ledge again, and it's looking like one banana, one up smash, gonna take it for EJJ if he can find it. Yeah, I mean, as much as I want to see game two, I don't want to count Infernape out here in game one, as he does have the stage positioning right now, trying to find something off of the banana at the ledge, That'll but do. a down tilt into the up smash, the Diddy Kong classic. You're cursed and everything. I might, be, yeah, I, I just might be cursed tonight. Yeah, I think so, I think so. So that's the kind of caster you are. You no. cast curses. <laughs> yeah. Oh. A warlock. Let's Cast see. Hexes. Going nope. for the run back. Yep. Felt like it wasn't out of uh <laughs> It's just too funny. I just I love it so much. Oh my god, he's got like a banana on, I, on, the, on the shirt. Oh my <laughs> yeah. bro. I love that. <laughs> Alright, I like the Diddy Kong handshake at the beginning where it's just like, alright, we're both gonna get banana in hand. Yeah. Alright, and then we can play. Yeah, for real. But here we go, both trying to reset, maybe get a banana, but it's uh, actually Infernape with EJJ's banana in hand that finds a combo oh and a good bait. 
Yeah, I love the bait there from Infernape. Just saying like, hey, I'm going to just grab this banana real quick. And then boom, monkey flip kick to the face. Yeah, also up being out of shield. What, what are we doing? Is this game in a Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. my God. The reward off of one single banana trip from EJJ. Almost evening the percentages. Uh. And instead, now EJJ is going to be finding himself in the percent lead. Look, I uh -oh. refuse to believe that like banana into down air is optimal. But man, is it cool! It it just feels personal. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's like I feel like there's definitely a combo that probably does more damage in down air. But it's like I want to hit you with this thing that hits so hard, just because it hits hard. Mm -hmm. The peanuts coming out as a ledge trap again. I'm thinking EJJ is starting to think he's Game & Watch. <laughs> but finds the stock with the back air. And last game we saw a similar situation here. And EJJ was able to rack up all the extra credit in the world. So let's see if he could do it again with the combos coming out. Often there decides to throw a banana out and now has it in hand. But maybe could have continued that combo. Yeah, EJJ with all the momentum in the world right now. Infernape has to stop the bleeding soon. <laughs> all right. Just a quick little down tilt handshake. Yeah, keep trading it back and forth. But here we go. Both of them trying to get their bananas out. Uh -oh. yep, trying to keep that mid-range, that banana toss range at the ledge here. Just trying to make sure that things like monkey flip and uh, jetpack from ledge are remain reactable. But Infernape still has Ooh. to put in the work to find this first stock off of EJJ. Yeah, Two looking, minutes gone already. Looking for the pivot grab there. Probably off of the roll, but now... EJJ just doing a great job of holding on to this stock, being all the places that Infernape can't kill him, except for right there, finally finding the down tilt into the up smash. It's certified Diddy Kong banger. But hey, you got 91% of extra credit, so almost getting an A on your test. An A+. Plus. Being said, though, EJJ now putting Infernape back the ledge once again. Yeah, once to keep this lead healthy, and healthy it is looking with almost a full stock lead here in game two. Yeah, but hey, you know, Infernape, you can rack it up. You can get a combo going and, and, and really get that percent going. But hey, the monkey flip coming out, sending in, uh, EJJ to ledge, but finds his way back to stage. Yeah, I mean, Infernape's neutral in this in this set has been impeccable thus far, but it really feels like where EJJ is shining is the amount of reward that he gets off of his stray hits. Like we saw is like just starting this game too, Infernape got some nice stray hits, getting some momentum in his favor, but once EJJ finds that one banana, he, he's taking you to town. Yeah, and you watch any top player, right? You watch any of the top 100 players of Smash, and what sets them apart from everyone else is that when they land a hit, they're landing 60% off of that hit, right? Like, they know the options, they know how to push their advantage, and EJJ looking like one of those top players right now, the way he knows his options to push that advantage. Yeah, I mean, you can only win neutral so many times before the game is over. May as well make those times count. Yeah. Here we go, EJJ getting up to 160. And I feel like if we tally the percentage that has been on these characters from game one, we would see that the percent given is about equal. But uh, Infernape just having a super hard time finding the kills on EJJ. Yeah, even finding it down tilt just wasn't quite confident in the confirm. So EJJ gets to hold on to this second stock for just a little bit longer. Mm, Meanwhile, though, EJJ rage. confirming with confidence. Yeah, he was enraged. He was so mad that he had to kill him with up smash at like 106%. So He's, he said, let me show you how to confirm off of down tilt. Yeah, convincing wins from EJJ, who now gets to play Justin JPEG in Losers Finals, so they could both run it back to verse John Numbers, who sent both of them to Losers. Oh, so. That's true. We, yeah. got a, we got a guaranteed revenge match coming up in Grand Finals tonight. Yeah, absolutely. So let's see. Let's see. Uh, who do you got your money on? We got... Uh, EJJ versus Justin JPEG. I wonder, the Rob is definitely going to be coming out from Justin, I think, so. Yeah, yeah, I, I think so. Mm. I'm going to say, I'm going to say EJJ takes it. I'm a big believer in hot hands. EJJ has probably played like four sets in a row right now. Uh, so he's been in it, but Justin JPEG, he's cooled down. Maybe about two sets of EJJs. Mm -hmm. Justin JPEG's probably been playing friendlies on the sideline, trying to keep those hands warm, but EJJ's locked in. Yeah, EJJ has been playing with momentum tonight. Yeah. And I'm really excited to see how that extends here into losers finals against Justin JPEG. I like Justin JPEG's crew neck.
true. It's nice. It's a very nice crew neck. Oh, actually, mm, Justin thinking mm, it. Yeah, actually, oh. it's going to be sticking with the Sephiroth. Yeah, go 